Hello and welcome to the McDolphin Team Cup 2021 Event 9, The Double Dash. I am Zach McDolphin, your commentator and host for today. We're here in Catland for what we're expecting to be one of the most exciting events of the season. This is our last season, the Marine Team won, which put them to the top of the standing, which led to them winning the championship over Team McDolphin by just three points. This event, this season though, things seem to be more different. Marine Team are languishing in 14th place, while currently the championship battle between the Electric Eels, the blue and yellow team, and the purple and white team, the Octopi. Team McDolphin, who are alongside the Parrots, a different marble, they are guess, eight points back from that close battle. We're by points back from the championship lead. Three D Sloth and Carnival Crew are still within striking distance of the lead too. It's three points at the top though. Things are very close. And this exciting event, seemingly benefiting Marine Team, who are down at the back, as well as Octopi and Electric Eels, they being a duo event on Sky Rail and Speed Based. I think this needs to be even closer. Let's find out now. And so our first heat we have the Carnival Crew and the Green Jungles in 3, 2, 1. They're away. Carnival Crew already have a quick a big separation. And now it's the second one with the cross line who wins the rest of the way. It's the Green Jungles with the lead and they go through. Green Jungles advancing on their first top off in a few events of the Green Jungles, which is good for them. Now it's Birds of Prey. And the Jellyfish. Both of them with midfield season. Well, jellyfish having a good season until the past couple of events where they've fallen a few spots on standings. Anyway, they're away. And it's Birds of Prey with a narrow lead right now, and they're going to keep it. It's going to grow, actually. And Birds of Prey are looking good to advance here. Just as they did last year. Oh, striking into Carnival Crew there. May have to, to move Carnival Crew. Birds of Prey. Advance. Jellyfish. Another poor event for them. Now we have last year's Double Dash winners, Marine Team, along with. Seahorses, two teams have been quite disappointing this season, having had high expectations at some point early season. By the way, they're away now, Marine Team, pulling into the lead. They were dominant this event last time. Wales, uh, they're flying ahead, and that's an easy win for Marine Team. Showing exactly, Dolphin and Wales showing exactly what they showed last year. Pure pace. They don't need to stay bunched for them to be able to destroy another team, which is huge, really. They've got to be the favourite again. Now we have Speedy Slots and the uh, Butterflies. Good things have been struggling in the last couple of events, falling away a little bit. Or away, Speedy Slots with the other advantage, pulling out a decent gap. But here come the Butterflies. They're going to make us a challenge for them. It's been the closest thing we've seen so far. Ooh, we're bumping to the Parrots there. But it will be the Speedy Sloths who are going through and be facing Marine Team in the next round. Which is not the best news for them. But either way, they'll be going through regardless. Now, we have the Parrots against Team McDolphin. Team McDolphin much higher than standings, but terrified of this event. They lost in the championship this year, last year, and they don't have the very low expectations of Moose and Zach. How will they face against the bottom team in the standings, though? They're away, and oh, look at that star. Very slow for McDolphin. They're still there, but it's not going to mean anything. It's an easy coast for the Parrots, and they're going to be picking up some good points for the first time in a while. And now... We have the Fritzes and the Cream Team. Cream Team was second in this event last year, but Fritz has been stronger over this season and got second last time. Well, that marble was at N Racing, Fritz. Going two rents in a row. Let's find out how that will affect them. And they have got the early advantage, but here comes Cream Team on the bottom now. Right behind, they briefly have the lead. Will they keep it? No, they can't. The Fritzes eliminate Cream Team in a very close race between those back two marbles. Now our championship leaders, the Electric Heels, against... The Ladybirds. Ladybirds have had a good that past couple of events, but they haven't had a double gold medal this season, whereas the Chiquillos have. They're away, and it's better start for the front. Yeah, but the the Seahorses, not Seahorses. Ladybirds are fighting them well here. It's not quite going to be enough. Electric Eels are advancing, and they will be picking up at least eight points at this event. Now we have the Octopi and the Cool Chameleons. It's pivotal for the Octopi Championship, but they advance here. Find out whether they can or not. And they're away. They've got a better style than the cool comedians. Who narrowly missed out on the podium in several of the last few events. Now the Octopi pulling out of the lead. And they will go through. 
meaning three of our five teams within you know, points of the championship are through. So that is going to make it exciting. It also means that Octopi will be against the electric heels in the next race, so that's going to be big. And as you see, there's results from 9th to 16th. Hello, PB. 9th to 16th on the screen. We're preparing for our first quarterfinal, and we have the Green Jungles and the Birds of Prey. And they're away. The jungles have the advantage. But the Prey holding quite well, very close to each other. But they're losing time, and it'll be an easy win for the Green Jungles. And they're going to be picking up some good points this event. Now, slight rivals from last season, both championship contenders, but see often like having rivalries. It is Marine Team and Speedy Sloths. Marine Team surely the favourites to win this. They're away, it's fairly even start, but Marine Team have got the advantage. Actually, fair, Whale isn't pulling away too much now, is though. Speedy Sloths are much more close together, but it's relevant. Marine Team easily uh, going to win. Stevie, I thought you'd like Marine Team. I like them, but I don't like them more than I like the Sloths. Either way. Marine team are through to the semi-finals, meaning they're almost guaranteed a podium, which is very good news for them. Speedy Sloths will be picking up some okay points, but nothing too huge. So now Parrots against the Fritzes, both yellow, red and blue, well, not really rivals with each other. So right now then, win their way, and it's a first off for the Fritzes the team, and the Fritzes have got the advantage now. Parrots trying to make a comeback, they can't quite do it, it's a close one, a very close race. But the Fritzes just about get through for the second race in a row. And now we have the big one, top two in the championship in the quarterfinals. Electric Eels against the Octopi. This could define the championship battle, perhaps. And they're away. And it's the Eels with the slight advantage. Now the Octopi take it. The Octopi pulling out a gap. Here come the Eels, though. It's not over until it's over, but it is now, though, over. And it's the Octopi going through to face the Fritzes. And that is going to be big for the championship there. But Electric Eels will have a good time, so maybe the Octopi won't get too much ground on them. Now it's Green Jungles against Marine Team. It's maybe a bit of a foregone conclusion, but you never know. Green Jungles can sometimes give a big surprise when they need to. But now they're off, and they have got the current advantage, and now Marine Team step into their... Uh, they haven't got... It's not the biggest win they've had, but it is still a big win. And Marine Team is through to the final, meaning they're finally going to pick up some... Another podium after that one-off sprint performance. And now, our second semi-final. We have Fritzes against the Octopi. Now, wait, Octopi with a slightly better start. Now, Fritzes have the lead. Octopi now take it. Octopi wants to be getting through the final, but they've lost the lead. And they're not going to go through. The Octopi are eliminated. It's a very close finish. I have to quickly check the replay. I think it is the Octopi who are going to be eliminated. What a close race that one was. It is confirmed, Octopi are eliminated to the third place round, Fritzes to the final, getting their second podium in a row, second final appearance in a row as well. Maybe they could become championship contenders. And now it's the Octopi against the Green Jungle for the third place. And they're away, it is Octopi with the advantage now, the Jungle's now Octopi again. Octopi, oh, they've made a bad collision, and they're going to come fourth and it's the Green Jungle getting their second podium of their career and the season. And now it is Marine Team against the Fritzes in the final. 3, 2, 1. They're away. Fritzes take the early lead. But Marine Team have got the lead. Dolphin with a big advantage over Whale. But that's an important Marine Team have won the second season in a row in the Double Dash. Ray and Whale do it again. Fritz would be very happy with a second second in a row. And uh, Fritz, the captain, two seconds in a row as well because... Fritz was the one who got the second in the previous event. So, yeah. Anyway, time to get down to the podium. And now for the podium. Woo. Marine team, Fritz's, and the Green Jungles. BBS here too. But no, that's a great result for the Marine Team. I'll shoot them up in the standings. Second podium and their first win of the season. And, and Fritz as well. They'll be getting themselves into championship contention now, I think. They could well be contenders by the end of the season. And Green Jungles picking up a, ver a very useful point, haul of points. 
had a good start to the season, well, I say good start to the season, good third event with a win, and they've been dropping ever since, but now they'll possibly, re well, we will be recovering a couple of spots again, and they'll be finding themselves perhaps yeah, in the top yeah. half. But no, we have just three events to go in, in the championship after this now, and they are the long distance collision and run race, and yeah, we might soon get start to see some teams get eliminated from championship contention. And that is going to be very interesting. Meanwhile, though, I don't think Octopi will take the championship lead because they did not score enough points to beat the electric eels. Well, will McDolphin hold on second? I don't know. I think perhaps the Fritz might take third. But I don't know. Anyway, that's all we have time for today. And so... Remember to like and subscribe, turn notifications on, and then we'll stay.